and welcome to a Did You Know session by BlazeMeter. Today we are going to talk about using test data to drive API functional tests. Typically, we want to create API tests and vary the test data that we will use for the test. This lets us test boundary and edge conditions as well as performing both positive and negative tests. However, creating multiple API tests just to change the data is a maintenance headache. Let's take a look at how BlazeMeter can achieve this. Our application under test is a digital banking application with a robust set of APIs, including a Create Account API. Currently, there is no data in the application, no existing checking or savings accounts. I want to test my Create Account API, and I want to be able to create different types of accounts with different deposit amounts. In BlazeMeter, we can easily create an AI functional test by adding in the Operation API and Endpoint. BlazeMeter API test consists of two parts, the environment and the API calls. The environment can be shared and contains information about the environment where you're running the test. This includes environment details such as endpoint and authentication or headers required and locations where you want to run the test, among other things. In this test, I have set the host to be my local development machine. Since the host is a variable, I can easily switch my environment to point to QA or staging or production as I move along the testing lifecycle. I can also set the location where BlazeMeter runs the test. Since I am pointing to my dev environment, which is internal to my network, I am using a BlazeMeter radar agent installed on my network to be able to hit my endpoint. We can upload our CSV file in the test data tab and configure the settings to either use all of the data in the file or a subset of data. Before we look at our API test, let's take a look at our CSV file. Each column name, account name, account type code, opening deposit, owner type code will map to parameter names that we can use in our test. And we have a variety of data in each of the six rows. The API requires an authorization token to be passed as a header, so the first call we make is to get the token. We are using the auth token variable to save the token and pass it as a header to subsequent calls. The next call is the create account call and we see it at it's a post. On the right-hand side, there are available parameters that were imported from the CSV file and can be passed into the body of the API call. We can also add assertions to the test for response code and response time. In addition, we can also parse the response to assert on specific data. Click Run to run the API test. The test execution details appear on the left-hand side. Click the Running test and we will see all of the running iterations of the API test. To see specific data iterations, click the View Results link. Expanding out the first call, we see it was successful and the token was added to the auth token variable. Expanding the Create Account call, we see that the request body was updated from the data in the spreadsheet and the call was successful. The View Test Data link shows the test data that was used for that particular API call. Looking at our Digital Bank application, we now see all of the accounts created from our API test. BlazeMeter's test data feature allows us to test with a large variety of data without having to maintain multiple tests. Start testing today by going to BlazeMeter and signing up for a free trial. We also have blogs, videos, and BlazeMeter University to help you get started. Thank you for listening.